A shakeup on the Village Council in Yellow Springs. They voted three to two last night to oust the council's president. That move stemming from an incident over the summer involving the former council president and the police. Two News reporter Elliot Seabrooks joining us live here in the studio this morning with more on this story. Elliot. Zach Kelly, Monday's meeting was business as usual when council member Carmen Brown made a motion to remove council president Brian House from his position. This move comes as House faces multiple allegations of driving under the influence and being stopped by police for being intoxicated. Brown says that he has, quote, shown signs of impairment and that it is clear that he should no longer be president. This motion was seconded by Vice President Kevin Stokes. The meeting got even more intense when House then asked to read a letter before the motion was put to a vote because he knew, quote, that no doubt how the vote was going to go. House's letter talks about how the medication that he takes and how strong its effects are and that he has nothing to hide. House addressed a particular August 24th incident where it was rumored that he was driving while intoxicated. He calls it a medical emergency. And on a few occasions I have either seemed out of it or intoxicated. Um, I have letters from my two doctors responding to a request from my employer to explain my unusual behavior in a couple situations, which I'm happy to share. There is no indication that alcohol is a trigger, but I am avoiding alcohol consumption. House's letter goes on to say that he is not a menace to society and thanks police for their service of the community. But the council ultimately voted three to two for his removal. In an email this morning, House told me last night's decision came to him as a surprise. He declined further comment, but remains on the village council. His term does not end until December of 2025. Former council vice president Kevin Stokes will now serve as the council's president. In studio, Aaliyah Seabrooks, 2 News Today.